Hi and welcome to Acid Tech Tips. I got a request to make a video on how to forward ports using the Asus RTN 56U. So that's what this video is going to be about today. So without further ado, I'm going to jump straight into it. The first thing you need to know is you need to know what your computer's IP address is and your router's IP address. Um, I'm talking about the internal ones, not the public ones. So to find out, the easiest way to do that on any operating system uh, that's, Mike, that's from Microsoft is to hold down the Windows key and tap R and in there type in CMD to open up the command box. If you don't have a Windows key button on your keyboard for some unusual reason you can get the command box by going to Start, All Programs, Accessories and Command. Now, once you've got the command window open you'll need to type in ipconfig IPCONFIG. It might be handy to also open up a notepad to take down some information. So to quickly open up notepad, do the same thing again, hold down the Windows key, tap R and type in notepad. So now we need to know what our computer's IP address is. That'll be this one here. 192.168.1.124 And then we'll need to know what our default gateway is. This is your router. So that one is 192.168.1.1. Now, 90% of the time your router is going to be this here. It might even be like that. Um, but it's, it doesn't hurt to check because you might have another device like a printer or something connected to your network. And if you do, one of these numbers will change. So that's how you find out which is which. So now we know what our IP address is and what our gateway is, let's go ahead and get into the router. So to do that, you need to open up browser. Once you've got your browser open, you need to type in your gateway. So this is our gateway here. You'll be prompted with a password. Now, if you've got a password and you know it, go ahead, jump. If you don't, if you haven't set a password, then it's going to be the default password. And the default password for the ACES in most cases is admin and admin in lowercase. If you're not sure what the password is and you find that this password here does not work, you'll need to reset your router using the reset button on the back of the router, holding it in for, I think, five seconds, disconnecting the power, reconnecting, and then getting it all going again. And that will reset it to the default. And you'll see the password. Um, the default password and username written on the back of your router. So let's click here and get in. So now, this is our main screen. We want to go to advanced settings. And then in here, don't get confused with port forwarding or port triggering. ACES um, have some retarded way of naming um, different things, right? And these here are very confusing because they, they, they're not really related to adding ports in. This here basically shows you what ports you're forwarding and um, that's a story for another day. What you want to go to is you want to go to virtual server. So here's the area where you enter in the ports. Now I just happen to have a few ports that I need to enter in. Here are the ports for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. When you find, when you browse the internet and you look for your ports and your port ranges, a lot of the time it's going to look like this. And this can be quite confusing because you need to identify the difference between ports and port ranges. So what I've done is I've broken this information down here to explain it to you. We've got the TCP and we've got a range and you can identify the range because of this here. So one TCP range, and then we've got a few UDP ports. So here are the UDP ports. And we've got two ranges, and then one more port. Now, to enter in these, it's very simple. Ranges, you just basically copy your range, start off with the first one, enter it into your port range, choose your computer's IP address, and if you've forgotten what it is, just take a look at your notes. Here it is here, and then choose your ending range, 
and that goes into the local port. Make sure you're on TCP and give it a name. So in this case, we're going to give the identifier COD MW2 and then I'm going to go down 1 because this is the first port. Now we're going to do it again for UDP. So we take this port. Now, single ports um, are just as easy to enter in as ranges. Basically, what you do is you just paste it in both boxes here. So in there and also in here. Change TCP to UDP. Choose your computer and give it a name. So the identifier is going to be COD MW22. And we add that. Okay, so there we go. Now I've entered in all of the necessary ports. And as you can see, we've got our identifier, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so they're easier to understand. Now to apply these settings, just click on apply. And that's it, you're done. Now, there's a very, very good website that I very quickly want to show you guys before I wrap this video up um, just in case you need any extra help or you're trying to identify what ports to forward for some software or for some games and it's a particular favourite of mine and that website is portforward.com and you can get that by going to Google and typing port forward or just going port forward holding down the control key and tapping enter which will bring you to portforward.com. Um, you can click on router list just in case you're using a slightly different kind of router if somebody comes across this video and doesn't have an ASUS. Um, a very good way to find your router is to hold down the control key and tap F and then type in the manufacturer, so in our case ASUS Here's our one. Just ignore the ad by clipping on skip. And now you're at the, the games and software page. So basically whatever it is that you're looking for, um, for instance, the one that we just entered in there was Call of Duty. So you press the Windows key and F to get your find box and then type in the name of the software or the game you're looking for. Here we are. And this here will show you your router's page step by step. So as you can see what we've done, go in, we popped in our admin, we clicked on OK. Advanced settings, one, and then virtual server, okay, so it goes a slightly different way, but we still end up on the exact same page. Brings us to the screen that uh, we entered in our ports, shows you how to enter them in. And it gives you the ports that you need to forward, which is pretty cool. So this is a great website if you're ever looking for any information on how to forward ports and which ports to forward. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it helps. Um, if you have any questions or if you need any extra help, please don't hesitate to leave me a message. Uh, leave your comments, leave your reviews. And again, thank you very much for watching. Good night and take care.